So let's get into the first game. We got Montreal versus Inter Miami. So personally, man, I'm not betting on this game. This game is so tough to predict. Um, Montreal is getting a lot better. Um, and then honestly, every time I pick damn Inter Miami, we win. I mean, every time we pick them, they lose. And then every time I don't pick them, they win. So don't trust my opinion on this one. I'm picking pure off emotion. Inter Miami loses. And um, <laughs> with that, plus 280 and Montreal minus 115. Um, but in general, with the way Montreal's been playing, I actually do think if you're going to be a betting man, I would probably take Montreal at home. Yeah, I think if, yeah, I agree. I, I, Inter Miami have just looked shaky. Uh, they're a makeshift squad right now. Um, Montreal have been improving and they've looked much better, especially at home. So I, I think Montreal is a safe pick. All right. Don't put uh, Inter Miami. Actually, just give me Montreal. Like that, as much as yeah. I want to pick, just give me Montreal. Yeah. And then uh, Tyler, he, uh, well, of course, he's going with Miami to win. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next game, New England Revolution versus Chicago Fire. New England minus 115. Chicago Fire plus 270 away with the draw being a plus 260. Give me New England here. They're by far the better team, and you're at home. It's an easy pick for me. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, this would be a, more, a little bit more interesting if it was at Chicago, um, but I, I like the Revolution here as well. And Tyler agrees. So we all have New England. All right. Now we got Toronto FC versus DC United. Toronto plus 105, DC United plus 220 with the draw being a plus 230. Man, Toronto, they're going through all kinds. Of, they're, they're right up there with the Galaxy with just messy situations. I wish we could have more time to talk about it this week, but maybe we'll bring it in the topic sheet next, next week about everything that's going on with them. But yeah. Um, DC is getting better. I think Rooney's doing a good job with what he has. Um, but I'm gonna go Toronto at home here. Yeah, I could see that happening. Um, I just think the way both these teams are, I could see, uh, I'm going to go with a draw. Um, and, um, Tyler also has a draw for this game. All right. Now we got New York City FC versus Philadelphia Union. New York City plus 105, Philadelphia Union plus 230 with a draw being a plus 230. I think this game is actually going to end up in a draw. Um, I have a very hard time picking against New York to lose at home. That baseball field is such a huge advantage. But Philly is still a good team nonetheless, even though their record might not show it. Um, I'm going draw here. I think they go no, no. I mean, zero. Uh, yeah, I, I just I have to agree. New York, they've they that field is such an advantage to them. But I think if anyone can just come out with a draw, it's Philadelphia. Um, so that's draw I'm gonna go Philadelphia victory. here. <laughs> or yeah, draw yeah, draw, yeah for them. So I think Philadelphia are gonna get the draw here. Um, and Tyler thinks that NYCFC will win. All right. Now we got Atlanta SC or not bad Orlando City SC plus one twenty versus Atlanta United FC plus one eighty five with the draw being a plus two forty. I think Atlanta gets the victory on the road. They're just the better team overall. Orlando they had a big win against Miami, but in general, Miami is kind of a struggling team right now with injuries and lack of formational continuity. Um, I'm going Atlanta here. Uh, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Atlanta's uh, more talent. I, they're 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 more talented, um, and I do think that you know a big win against Miami at Miami isn't the best thing f- to brag about right now, even if it is a rivalry game. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you with Atlanta, and Tyler has Orlando winning. All right. Minnesota United minus 105 versus Real Salt Lake plus 240 with the draw being plus 240. I'm going to take Minnesota at home. They've been a solid home team. They've been a solid team in general all season. I like Minnesota here versus Real Salt Lake. 
I agree. Minnesota, I've been impressed with their their home form. Um, it's not that Real Salt Lake can't, you know, get a draw or something out of this. Um, but if we're if we're betting people, then you kind of have to go Minnesota on this one. Um, and uh, Tyler actually has a draw for this. All right. Now we got Houston Dynamo versus Austin FC. Houston plus 105, Austin plus 220 with the draw being plus 240. I like Houston at home. I Every time I pick Houston to lose at home, it just doesn't work for me. Houston has been a very strong home team. Austin still can't get it done this season. Even though they did have a big road victory against Seattle, I think Houston gets it done at home. Semi Texas Derby kind of S thing here. Um, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, I got Houston. No, I agree. At home. Houston I like them at Houston home. are are a force at home. And uh, Tyler agrees. So this is one that we all have Houston. All right. St. Louis versus Vancouver Whitecaps. St. Louis plus 110, Vancouver plus 200 with the draw being a plus 240. Give me St. Louis at home. They seem to be back on a roll again. They had a little bit of a dull, but Kansas City, that I think is going to ignite something in them again. Jao Klaus, yeah. um, I'm not sure if he's coming back next week, but nonetheless, I think St. Louis just has a lot of firepower, and um, Vancouver away just hasn't looked too strong. So give me St. Louis. And St. Louis, St. Louis have also – oh, yeah, for sure. But St. Louis have also been playing tougher opponents lately. Um so I think that this is what they need, especially with their big win that they just they just had. Um, so I agree, uh, St. Louis all day, and of course Tyler's he loves the St. Louis, so he's picking St. Louis as well. <laughs> yeah. Next game, Colorado plus one forty versus FC Cincinnati plus one sixty five, with the draw being plus two thirty. Give me Cincinnati at home, top of the supporter shield. Best team in the league right now. Colorado, one of the worst teams in the league right now. Yeah, Even I hate Colorado. Home, I still like it Cincinnati. Sucked. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not as... It, you would think Colorado would have a bigger advantage of their elevation, but they're just that bad. So Cincinnati for the win. Tyler agrees. We all have Cincinnati here. That's your that's your Euro brother, man. Like That's yeah, Arsenal's same owner. You can go it's fuck your MLS himself. brother. <laughs> I, could give a, I, could, I could give a shit about his other teams. I, it's funny. I Before you move on, I it's even though that I root for Arsenal like passionately, I actively root against his other teams. All of them actively root against them. It's fucking wild. <laughs> I mean, just think about that for a second. <laughs> well, my prem brother is Fulham, so... <laughs> Same yeah, owner. That's a, that's a good one to have. Good one to have. <laughs> LA Galaxy club, like versus that. yeah, the good season this year. LA Galaxy versus mm-hmm. Charlotte FC. LA Galaxy minus one fifty at home. Charlotte plus three forty away with the draw being a plus two ninety. Um, we talked about LA. I think LA is progressively getting better and better. Charlotte is a bottom tier team in this league this season. They've been they've had a direct a horrible start. Their start to the MLS has been disastrous. Um, probably worse than Miami. Like it's been very bad. So give me LA Galaxy at home here. Yeah, I agree. I think LA they're they're getting better. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah. Still, it's hard to pick against the talent. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's hard. It's hard. And and Charlotte, they just look. They've been looking so bad, especially you know midweek in the U.S. Open Cup. It, it's just I, I can't see them uh, winning this one. So this is game. another, yeah, this is another one that we all agree on. Tyler also has the Galaxy to win. All right, San Jose Earthquakes plus one hundred, FC Dallas plus two forty, with the draw being a plus two forty. So we've talked about how San San Jose has been a little sneaky, sneaky good this season. Um, they've gone on a little bit of streaks. Um, FC Dallas, still one of the top teams in the league. But a part of me wants to go San Jose here. I think San Jose gets a big victory. San Jose has been cleaning up on bottom teams, but I want to see them go up against a, a really tough team. And I think they can get it done here at home against the Dallas. So I like the favorites here. Yeah, I'm going to 
I, you know, the, my my brain says San Jose, but I'm actually gonna go draw here. Um, I think Dallas. You know, they're one of those teams. You know, they have they haven't been amazing, but I I think they can do it. I think this is the kind of game where I could see it being a one-one. Um, and I and I haven't been going for many draws this week, and I and there's gonna I know it's gonna be somewhere, and I just have a suspicion it's gonna be here. So I'm gonna say I draw and. Uh, I, I could double check. I think I think might, we might have. Um, Tyler has San Jose winning, so so he agrees okay. with you. But I'll let you know if you picked any draws in just a sec. I'm pretty positive I put no draws, but <laughs> all right. So you got draw. Um, I got San Jose. And so you put Tyler. NYCFC draw. That's your only draw. Yep, that's it. Yep. I have so, NYCFC Toronto and that San Jose with the draw. Ooh. So we got Seattle, Seattle Sounders versus Sounders. New York Red Bulls. Sounders minus 105. Red Bulls plus 280 with the draw being plus 220. Give me the Sounders at home. New York has not looked too great this season. Seattle, like we've talked about time and time again, they are back. They're one of the best teams in the league. And you're at home. Give me Seattle. I totally agree, Seattle. Uh, and you know they they have been dropping games here and there, but against New York Red Bulls, I don't I don't think that it would be in too much of an issue for them. Um, and um, Tyler agrees, so we all have Seattle here. All right, got some Sunday games. Finally, let's go. Wow, spreading out the schedule. Sporting Kansas City versus Portland Timbers. Sporting Kansas City minus 125. Portland plus 300 with the draw being a plus 250. So they got Sporting Kansas City pretty strong favorites at home. Um, I might have to check the injury report for Portland, but um, I'm actually going to go draw here. I think Kansas City, um, they're just, Portland's just a way better team, man. Even with their injuries, I still think they're better than Kansas City. Um, give me a, a draw on this game. I'm gonna take Portland. Um, I think a draw is a, is a fair pick, but I, I Kansas City, um, they just they just haven't been playing good at all, and I don't think a home game is gonna help them. Um, so I'm gonna go Portland, and uh, Tyler also is going Portland. So you said Han. So you said a uh, draw, or did you say um, Kansas City? I said draw. I'm actually okay. pulling up an injury report across all teams right now. Um, I think it'd be pretty helpful to have, but I am curious about this. So yeah, I mean they still they still have their uh, DPS on. So yeah, I take Portland with the draw. Oh, you take the draw? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking Kansas City draw. Yeah, okay. And this is the final game of match day 15, the Battle of the Yellow Bumblebee Kits. Yeah, Nashville the Yellow Battle. SC, <laughs> Nashville SC minus 115 with the Columbus Group plus 290 with the draw being a plus 230. I'm actually going to take draw here. Um, Nashville, they struggle to score. They're very stout defensively, but honestly, like, Hani Mukhtar is the heart and soul of that attack which really limits him, I feel. I feel like his stats could even be higher if he had somebody up there with him, a pure striker, a pure nine. Um, so I'm going to go draw here. Nashville, they're always known for grinding it out, getting 1-0 victories. Um, and then Columbus, on the other end of the spectrum, have a really strong offense. So, yeah, I think it's. I think we're going to – Columbus is going to get theirs, Chucho and Zellerion. Um, So I'm going draw here. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Um, this this is just one of those games that has draw written all over it. Um, yeah, I, I don't Nashville's think I need to go more into it Walker's because I think in. you just said everything. Yeah, that 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 definitely hurts Walker's them. Edmund, yeah. which is, oh. and so, Tyler also yeah, says and those, draw, so that's everybody saying draw for that. So those are the Nashville's the draw for, kings, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They are crazy, the draw kings, crazy, but that crazy, crazy. is. The picks for match day 15 will come back next week to talk about and see how we did.